So Royal Enfield was very successful when they brought in their twin motorcycles. They launched the bike last year globally and we were there for the US launch. We had an amazing time riding the bikes there and we were very impressed. And then a few months later, they came to India and they had the India launch here. And we got to ride the bikes right here in our country. And we had a fantastic time riding them. And I have to say that these bikes are fantastic. The Interceptor 650 right here is probably one of the best motorcycles you could... Oh, look who it is. So Janet, I see you're still raving on about the Interceptor 650. Why don't we measure it against this, the Duke 390? It makes more or less the same amount of power and torque. And the prices of both these motorcycles are just a few thousands apart. Okay, Ravi. That's true, he's on a fair point. We need to find out which one of these bikes is better. Let's hit the road and let's find out. There's just so much to like about the 390 Duke and I know just where to start with. The 390's motor is so energetic and lively that it's hard not to have fun on the road. It makes every journey from your regular commute to work to riding hard on the hills incredibly involving and dramatic. It makes going fast easy and eggs you to keep pace with the motorcycle. The engine is punchy, it has a strong mid-range, the acceleration is crisp and if I should tell you, it's as fast to reach the 100 as the Ford Mustang. Now that's a proper pocket rocket. Okay, so hold your horses, Ravi. The Interceptor 650 actually gets more power and torque than the Duke 390. In fact, the engine is so nice, you have such a wide torque spread, and you get the torque all the way from as low as 2,500 RPM, and you can ride all day long. It's so comfortable. The Interceptor also has the advantage of being twin cylinder, which makes it a lot more refined than the Duke 390. In fact, the smoothness with which it delivers power will actually surprise you. Unlike the 390 Duke, the Interceptor can maintain high speeds in a lot more stress-free manner, which makes it an extremely capable touring option. I love the seating position and it's just such an easy rider and with that much power it can even keep up with the Duke 390. And anyways, the Duke 390 is not a very comfortable machine. I don't like the riding posture whatsoever. The foot pegs are way too rear set and it's a very cramped position, especially for tall riders. Royal Enfield may have a comfortable riding posture, but the forward by its stance of the Duke 390 adds more weight to the front end, which gives better feel around corners. And then the Duke also comes with a slipper clutch, which makes it that much more confident and safer while riding aggressively. The Mezzilla tyres are super sticky. Even in these wet conditions, they provide great grip. In comparison, the Pirellis that the Interceptor comes with just aren't as good. Now let me also remind you that the Interceptor weighs 202 kilos. Now that's 40 kgs heavier than this one here. All the additional weight of the Interceptor just cannot be masked. The Duke on the other hand is much lighter. It's much more easier to manage whether it is pushing in and out of parking or even when you're riding it around bends. And also, the suspension setup on the Duke 390 is so stiff. And I have to agree, yes, of course, it helps in the handling. But in all honesty, if you're going to be riding on all kinds of road surfaces, the Interceptor 650 is so much better going over bad surfaces. The setup is so much softer and it's way more pliant on all roads. And that's what I love about the Interceptor 650, is that you can use it in all conditions. Fine, I will give you that. But you're totally missing how Royal Enfield has managed to offer a 650 parallel twin at such an affordable cost. It barely has any features. It's not liquid cool. It doesn't have a LED setup. It doesn't have a digital instrument cluster. And what's with the quality and what's with the design? Those indicators look straight out of a commuter from the 90s. And let's talk about commutes again. If you're going to be commuting in the city, the Interceptor 650 is so much nicer. It's got a longer wheelbase and the seat is just so nice and comfortable. The Duke is so cramped and there's no space for even a pillion rider. I think the Interceptor 650 is giving the Duke 390 a tough fight and for that I'm going to bring out the value card. The Duke 390 is just so much better value for money proposition. You get a ton of rider aids, you get switchable ABS, ride-by-wire 
and a slipper clutch. None of that is on the interceptor. And by that, the Duke 390 is much better value for money proposition. And to give you a recap of everything else I've mentioned already, it handles better, it has grippier tires, and above all, it is a lot better balanced. And I'm going to emphasize strictly here on the word everyday practicality of a big bike. The Interceptor 650 feels like a big bike, it rides like a big bike, but it's also so practical. You can ride it in the city all day long and it's got just the right amount of power for you to smile all the time. And if you want to go on a nice highway cruise, it's much more comfortable. It's got that great twin feel. And of course, it's got a universal appeal, the way it's designed, the way it looks. It's such a nice bike. In fact, the motto for this bike is pure motorcycling and that's exactly what this bike is. It's a pure motorcycle. You're growing old, Jared. You know the Duke is a much better product, but your age is just not allowing you to enjoy it fully. So I'm just gonna go out and hit the road. You're absolutely right, Ravi. Let's just get out there and ride. We're never gonna have an answer to this conversation because both bikes are fantastic in their own right. Both are iModi winners, and they each have their own character and appeal to different customers. So let's just hit the road and have some fun. <laughs> <laughs>